Okay, uh, so since the last update, quite a few things have been put in. Um, first of all, I've optimized uh, selection and controlling for uh, NPCs. Um, so you can, instead of just unit-based control, now you can actually do smooth control. You can push things around smoothly. They still collide with each other. Um, let me put in some more objects here just so we can see them colliding. Uh, so all these objects still collide with each other. You can push them around smoothly. Uh, walk up on them like the sort of stair step effect. Um, there's also some basic physics involved. There's friction dampening. Um, sort of uh, hardness and bounciness accounted for in rigid bodies. Um, it's all, you know, very, it's based on just bounding boxes that don't rotate. Um, other than about the uh, z-axis. Um, there's jumping and all these sounds are just kind of placeholder sound effects that made quickly in uh, BFXR, SFXR. Um, so you can move around. Um, it sort of it does some things without uh, uh, applying direct physics to them. Like it used to be choppy when you move up and down hills because there's a sudden shift in position, but now it kind of interpolates your position when you're just walking over a small change in, in terrain. So you walk smoothly up and down things. Um, and uh, I also added in some sort of projectile uh, physics, so you can just kind of throw around these sort of grenades. It's just drawn with some sort of placeholder object right now. Um, but uh, uh, right now I have the static water turned on, so water does not look like anything other than a blue mass, um, or rather no, no transparency. Um, so, uh, you can kind of uh, just launch these things around, blow stuff up. Um, I can also make it bounce around a little less, so it just explodes on impact pretty much. Um, you know, it decently, performs decently well. You can launch out a bunch of them and it doesn't slow it down too badly. Um, so, aside from that, uh, there's just a lot of stuff that went into kind of managing these entities and, and uh, uh, making sure all collisions work, everything was smooth. Um, there are also a few things fixed, like uh, these uh, the, the tiles on the uh, Roofs were made a little thicker to work better at bit lower resolutions, same with the boards and the walls. Um, there's also a first person view now, although it's not that great, it still kind of works. Um, the stairway is going into nothing, so that's not very useful. Um, but gives you an idea of, uh, makes it a little bit easier to navigate around these hallways and stuff. Um, there's also a lot of correction done on the lanterns, less redundant lanterns um, for the night view. Um, turn off first person here. So, uh, yeah, I mean, there's uh, still quite a bit more stuff that can be done here, but it, it kind of gives a uh, uh, interesting potential having this, you know, smooth movement for doing other types of mods other than just turn-based stuff, although it is still intended for turn-based. It can just, you can toggle between the two, you can move around smoothly, and then you can pause it or something for combat and everything reverts to the last unit space that it was on. And, uh, so, and also one little dumb effect is this camera shake. There's a little shake that goes when it, there's a bounce. Um, and that shake is also affected by distance. 
Um, so anyhow, that's uh, it's pretty basic uh, update. I've also been dealing with a couple other things outside of the game. Um, so it's been taking up a little bit of time, but uh, it's definitely you know coming together. And there's uh, uh, these little improvements were pretty easy to put in, and um, uh, things are just kind of getting easier and easier to put in as all these systems fall into place. Um, so you know, even though it took several months to do what didn't look like a lot. It was actually a lot of work behind the scenes, and then something like this just took a week to, you know, implement all these basic physics and stuff. So um, the uh, payoff isn't always directly proportional to the work involved, or at least the visual payoff. Um, but uh, the last little thing is I should mention is this explosion effect, which was just temporary, but it generates actual real 3D spheres. Um, uh, even though they're generated in screen space, it generates depth and normals for them, and they uh, they occlude things as they should. They fall behind objects as they should, and they take up a basically exactly spherical portion of space. Um, uh, although it's the sphere is is in screen space, so it doesn't have any sort of perspective distortion. But that looks that's kind of acceptable for a sphere, which the distortion is pretty minimal um, in reality. Um, so it looks okay for now for a small little temporary effect. Um, and uh, that is it for this week. I will catch you guys next week.